The world that I'm working to create is a world that should be of interest to all of us. I'm working to create a world that is stable, that is peaceful, where we as human beings realize that we cannot consume the resources of the world the way we are doing, as if there's no tomorrow. It's going to be a disaster, disaster for our children and our grandchildren. The farmer knows instinctively that if you take something from the earth today, you have to put something back to be able to return to harvest tomorrow. Somehow, when we move to the city, we lose that instinct. We need to create a world that is equitable, that is stable, and a world where we bear in mind the needs of others, and not only what we need immediately. We are all in the same boat. Let's say in a cruise, the boat sometimes seems too small. Let's say we are all in a cruise. Some may be in the best suites in, this, in the boat, or this may be in a little dinghy hole somewhere. But if the ship begins to take water, whatever end of the boat you are, whatever your accommodation, we are all at risk. We should reach out and work in partnership with civil society, with the private sector, with foundations, for philanthropies, focusing on the need of the individual. Yes, states are important and their concerns are important, but at the end of the day, it is the citizens and the individual needs which are important. Huge problems like genocide begins with one individual, the humiliation of one individual. And so the focus on individuals and people is the right one. And if we work in partnership and we all do our little bit collectively, we will make a giant contribution.